Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury reporting live from Hong Kong. Live from Hong Kong. Today, guys, I've uh, I, I went into the Rolex Airport Boutique. This is a two-story Rolex superstore. And I went in there and I asked the question that everyone wants to know. Where the fuck are the Rolex Steel Sports watches? Rolex Steel Sports. I said, any Rolex Steel Sports? No, no, no. No Rolex Steel Sports. Uh, it was fucked us. Absolutely fucked us. The only sports watch they had was a two-tone Yachtmaster 2. <coughs> that's the only fucking... That's the only fucking Rolex Sports they had... Uh, sorry, two to steel, anything with steel in it. They had two solid gold Daytonas. There was a rose gold uh, and a yellow gold steel. Sorry, yellow gold, yellow gold, solid yellow gold Daytona with a black dial. And I got to chatting. I said, hey, what the fuck is going on with Rolex Steel Sports? And uh, the guy, look, he was quite, quite nice. He opened up and shared with me private information so this was the guy at rolex this is the rolex boutique at hong kong international airport he said to me rolex is actually reducing he is an insider he said to me rolex is reducing supply they are making less they are cutting rolex steel sports production he said they are reducing uh, I said, when was the last time you had a steel sports Rolex in store? He said to me, uh, he had one this morning. He put a Rolex GMT uh, black, 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 that black dial, black bezel. That's just the the classic Yacht Mask, sorry, the classic GMT 2. And he said it sold within 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, gone sold out the door paid for and uh we'll see you next time and that's what's happened the whole rolex market is uh very aggressive he was wearing he was wearing a hulk i said nice hulk and uh we we had a bit of a discussion he works for rolex so i wanted to open up and see see what he said there and i i said to him how many rolexes do you here have and he said oh i only got five and i thought fuck me dead how many people have five he told me he had a he had the rare models he had a batman a hulk he had he actually had a gold daytona gold daytona he must have got staff discount because he was a very switched on fucker and he had an i think he had an explorer one so really nice guy uh I, I just said to him he said to me he gets sick of people asking him day in day out day, day out for rolex steel sports or they say hey do you have this model and he said you know it really it really is disappointing when we can't we don't have the stock available. It's really disappointing. He doesn't like to disappoint the uh, the, the Rolex lovers. Um, he said, look, I said, do you ever get pissed off? He said, he only gets pissed off when they get aggressive or abusive. So, guys, don't, don't get abusive to your Rolex sales assistant. It's not their fucking fault. But he confirmed... Rolex is reducing supply. He said, Rolex, uh, he told me he'd been there for a few years and he said, supply is much less than it's been in the past. He said, Rolex stock is just, just dwindling. Uh, he said to me, a lot of uh, date just, date just, day dates, yacht masters in gold, 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 uh, in the sky dweller. He said, look, we get those in quite a bit. He said, they obviously, they're not the steel sports. Everyone wants the steel sports Rolexes. And um, I said to him, he said to me, he collects the special ones. When he means special, I said, what do you mean special? He said, oh, the ones that everybody wants. And I said, how do you get them? I said, it's not really fair that you get them. You're wearing a Hulk when you can't sell a hulk to your customers and he said well to tell you the truth he actually bought this 
on the grey market. That's right. A guy who works at Rolex Boutique Hong Kong confront, told me that he had to buy it on the grey market. So don't, don't be shy there to sort of say, hey, where do these fuckers get these, uh, these pieces from? The reality is they get them on the grey market. So uh, he told me, he said, he, he, he came up and, 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 and told me he, he gets them on the grey. He, he said he, he cannot, he said that there's no stock. He said staff, he said they don't like staff to, um, to wear products that aren't available. He said we like staff, they do like staff to wear the product Rolex. But he, he did say to me that um, um, he, he really... He really had to go to the grey market himself. He, he was just being very upfront and honest. And uh, I, I thought it was, was quite interesting how he, he told me this story. He told me this story um, about how he's actually picked a few pieces himself on the grey market. He's had to go grey market himself because he said you just can't get it. You, you can't get... You can't get these things uh, normally. You just can't get them. They're very, very, very hard to get. And if you want Rolex, you you have to you have to source it elsewhere. That's the honest truth. And uh, I, I get I get what he's saying. I I understand exactly what he's saying. But it's um it's a sad reflection. But it, it, it's it's the world that we live in. It's it's Rolex, Rolex, Ro the whole market is Rolex, and um, it, it just goes to show you this is the the day and the age that we're in. Uh, I had another discussion. I met a fan. He said, "Hi Archie, hi Archie." I was doing a bit of a walk for the the weight. Well, for, fuck the weight loss. I was with Dave. Dave was taking me around, we're walking around, we're looking at watches and chewing the, the duck fat. And uh, Dave, Dave said to me, Dave said to me, uh, we were, sorry, we ran into a fan and the fan was from London. He was an Asian guy from, from London. And he said, what the hell's going on? I said to him, yeah, Rolex Steel Sports, that's, that's where it's at. Um, he, the funny thing is, he told me he had a black Amex, but he was wearing a fucking Raymond wheel I mean wh why would you wear a Raymond fucking wheel you you, you, you know what I mean I mean I, I don't want to be nasty or or rude but Raymond wheel is a fucking awful 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 brand it's just a fucking shitter of a brand okay it's just fucking dog turd microwaved on full high you know that's that's what it is it's just fucking um it's just bad news bad news and uh he he kind of he was a little bit name dropping um uh, which i kind of thought was um he said to me he flashed his black amex in london and they um he said oh can I get, uh, he, he actually asked, can I get Rolex Sports? And uh, they said, no, sir, we, we don't have any available. And whilst he was in the shore, store, he noticed some young Chinese and they they were pulling watches, these are these hard to get. He saw a Hulk and, and he said, what about them? That's that there, I'll take that watch, I'll take that. And they said, that's for VIPs only. VIPs, so that that seems to be what the trend is is moving towards. VIP customers, you have VIPs who, um, ha, how would you put it? These VIPs seem to be dominating. If you're a VIP, you get special privilege. You get special privileges, and. He said, "Oh, well, well, well I, you know." He, he he just said to me, "He said this is this is really fucking sad." And and I understand the anger. Don't get me wrong. I I understand it. But 
it seems to be if you're a VIP, VIP meaning you spend a fuckload, an absolute fuckload, they'll look after you. But if you are, um, how would you put it, um, a normal punter, a normal punter, you ain't going to get jack shit. That is the honest truth. That is the truth. And you've got to face reality. You've got to face reality and you've got to accept the situation. This is how it fucking is. This is how it is. And if you don't like it, hey, too bad, too sad. They don't really care. They don't really care. So there you go. Archie Luxury Market Update Rolex. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. No steel sports at Hong Kong Airport. Guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't forget to put a few uh, nasty comments down below. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Signing because it costs nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the congratulations to everybody.